being designated by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek, right? Jesus, it's speaking about Jesus. He was designated by God as the high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek, the king of Salem, here in Genesis 14 says, brought out bread and wine to Abraham, right? And now he was a priest of God most high. So he brought the bread and he brought the wine to who? Abraham. What does that speak of to you guys? The Eucharist or the the Holy Communion, the communion where we get to break bread and drink the wine with the Lord, remembering what he did on the cross for us. It's a powerful thing, very spiritual and very fulfilling as you do that as a believer. It it just helps you stand on the the solid rock, which is Jesus, to stand in him and, and abide in him. That's what it does for us. And Abraham was doing this 2,300 or about 2,300, maybe more than that years before Jesus was even born. And this character Melchizedek being a type and a picture of Jesus. Amazing stuff, you guys. (laughs) We're going to continue in that right now. Let's continue in the in the scriptures here. So Hebrews 7, 17 says, for it is attested of him Speaking of Jesus, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Well, what is he referencing? Psalm 110, right? Of the Tanakh. It says, the Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Now, wait a minute. David says, the Lord says to my Lord. Who is he speaking of there? If Why would David said the Lord spoke to my Lord? Well, a lot of people try and explain that away, but Jesus used that to explain that he was God the Son, the Son of God. A lot of people have a problem with that. That's their problem, okay? Your enemies are going to hate you no matter what you do, and your friends are going to love you no matter what you do. So don't worry about trying to please everybody. Jesus didn't do that. You know, over 50% of the people, I'm sure, did not like Jesus, despised him and hated him, and then maybe 50% or more or less loved him, right? Well, that's what being a leader is about. If you're a people pleaser trying to get 100% of the people to like you all the time, you're not effective. You're not doing anything worthwhile. So it's okay to have enemies, you guys. It's it's no big deal and have people that hate you and despise you for preaching what Jesus preached. It's okay if you're a believer. And that's a that's an honor, you guys. All right, so Psalm 110, the Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. And then later in Psalm 110, it says, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. He's speaking about Jesus. Psalm 110 is about Jesus. Yeshua Mashiach, you guys. And that's what this series is all about that we're in right now. Jesus in the Old Testament. It's so exciting. And I'm so glad that we're doing this together, you guys. Isn't it great? I love it. Hey, you may want to subscribe to this channel because you're not going to miss any of these episodes. You can go back and you look at the other ones. We already There's already like, I don't know, like over 10 episodes where we're seeing Jesus just in Genesis alone so far. And I can't wait to get into Joseph. We're going to do that. You might want to check the one out on Abraham and Isaac. And that was a picture of Jesus and the father going up the mountain with the wood on his back, the very mountain that becomes Jerusalem later. It's amazing. You'll see Jesus in that, I promise you. All right. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below and you'll, you won't miss anything. Also, you want to click on this playlist right here, Jesus in the Old Testament. 